there, welcome to the Glow Fusion Hip Centric session. This is great for beginners, or if you've had a little bit of a break from your workout program and are just easing back in. We will be using some weights for a portion of it. So if you've got a couple of dumbbells, about one kilo or uh, one and a half, if you're feeling a little bit more uh, energetic, that's fine. Um, we'll be using them in one hand. So if you do want to just use one weight at a time, you can do that as well. If you don't want to use any weights at all because you are just starting back, then uh, you don't have to do that. You can just get the joints moving and uh, get back in the groove and back into your routine. That's also good too. So when you're ready, we'll be staying on the floor for the majority of the session uh, and crack on with your favorite uh, playlist as well um, so that you can keep yourself motivated and keep yourself at a good tempo. I do have a suggestion with this uh, video series of a playlist that's added to this workout. So uh, see if you can find that. Otherwise, I'll meet you on the mat. Let's get cracking. As we start to move through the spine, so these hip rolls are going to be uh, more than just the warm up today. We're going to do some single leg hip lifts. But just for the moment, we're just going to start to roll through the spine, taking deep breaths as we go, making sure that your knees stay in line with your hips. Your feet are about hip width apart, and uh, we've got a 90 degree angle at these knees as we roll all the way up. Coming high up onto those shoulders, I'm going to pull those shoulders down away from the ears as well, so that we keep a nice gap between the chin and the chest. Try not to close off that airway. So we start to mobilize through the top of the back as well, so if you're quite tight through the top of the shoulder blades, this is a nice little release through that area, particularly if it's been a while. Good. So we're just going to go for about four more. Lovely. For three, starting to feel the work happening through those glutes and the top of the quads. For two, a really nice last one. Amazing. All right. So this next one, we're going to take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee. And we're just going to roll up. Continue those roll-ups. Now we're working into the single leg for eight, making sure the hips stay even so we're not dipping that left hip down to the floor. We want to keep them really parallel, even as we press all the way up, focusing the work on that hamstring and glute on the right side for four more. Lovely for three more, for two. Good, last one. Lovely, now let's change sides. We're keeping that right foot flexed, nice 90 degree angle at that knee, rolling all the way up and rolling back down for eight. Here's seven and six for five. Good, good, for four and three. Still focusing on the breath for two and last one. Beautiful. Let's hug those knees into the chest. Give the nose to knees a little squeeze. So we make ourselves into a tight little ball here. And then extending the arms above the crown of the head and the legs towards the top of the mat. We're going to do about four of these. So we hug everything in, pull the belly button through to the spine, and then exhale, lengthen. So we're starting to target through the glutes for four. Extend out for three. Extend for two. Beautiful, last one. And then placing the soles of the feet down on the floor. I'm going to take your right hand, take it back behind the crown of the head and lengthen your left leg to the floor. Now, from here, we're going to reach head and shoulders off the floor, tap the toe with the opposite hand and then lengthen all the way out. So we squeeze, tap one and through. Now we really want to make sure that knee stays super straight and strong here. Four. Good. And we're pulling that belly button through to the spine. The shoulders are pulling down. And we're exhaling as we come up. Three more. Good. Two more. Last one. And then we bring knee to elbow. And then extend the leg as we peel the head and shoulders back on the floor. So we squeeze across and knee and elbow connect, and then we come back down to the floor for 10. Good, and exhale. 
seven, six. So really focusing on that core, peeling that belly button through to the spine, really opening through the front of that hip as we extend the leg towards the top of the mat. Two more. Lovely, last one. And then we come back to your neutral this time. Take your left hand, extend it behind the crown of the head and extend your right leg. So we're gonna squeeze, tap the toe at the top with that hand and then we come back down to the floor. So really pulling that belly button through to the spine, flattening out that lower back, squeezing the rib cage together. We exhale, reach and then come back and through and lift the chin. Keep the eye gaze towards the ceiling. Good. If you want to flex the toe, you can. There's a little bit more of a hamstring stretch there. Or you can point the toe. Good. For five. Lovely. Four. Good, good. For three. And two. And one. Extending the leg long, bring the hand just behind the base of the skull. Elbow stays back. We bring knee into center chest, the elbow and the knee connect, and then we extend everything to the floor. So we have 10 and nine. So we're exhaling as we come in so that we really have a deep contraction of that core. And I'm definitely feeling this around the middle of my abdominals. You may feel a little bit on the lower abdominals as well. Still pulling that shoulder down or shoulders down. Good. For five. Here's four. For three. For two. And one. And beautiful. Let's take the soles of the feet to the edge of the mat. You can take the hands just to the side, palms up, and we can windscreen wipe those knees across. So we just start to open up through the front of those hips and a little release through that lower back. Lovely. Really good. All right. So we're going to start with uh, moving through now after our warm up. We're going to take big circles with the hip sockets. We're taking the right leg into the center chest. Big circle to the edge of the mat. Good. And then we'll just change size. We'll do about four to six of these. Just notice if there's any grinding through that hip socket. And you also want to make sure that you keep that opposite hip down on the floor. So try not to let it swing across and go with you. So we're really anchoring that hip down supporting through that core, making sure the spine stays supported. One more. Beautiful. All right. So the soles of the feet are going to stay on the floor now, hip width apart. We're going to extend your right leg up to the sky. Now from here, we press the hip straight up, come back down to the floor. We then sweep that leg over to the side. Keep it straight as you can. We come back to the top. Okay, so it's going to be a progressive exercise. I'm going to add on to this as we go. So we press up with the hips, lower them down, sweep the leg across so we get a good stretch through that uh, outer portion of the hip. The shoulders stay down along the floor. Come back to the center. Press straight up, lower, across, center. Press straight up. The heels driving to the sky as we do this. Good. Eight. And through. Now, I am bending my knee only because I have a wall next to me. But if you can keep that leg straight because you have the space, that would be preferable. Four. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze, two, pulling that belly through to the spine, and your last one. Now we're going to add on a little extra bit here. So we press straight up, come back down with the hips. The leg comes across as we've just done. We come back to the top. We then sweep open, toe points to the floor, come back up to the top. So we press 
lower, leg goes across the body to the left edge of the mat, back to the top, sweep open and through. Press, lower, leg to the left, up to the sky, toes to the floor to the sides, we get a good stretch on the inner thigh, and then continue on. Good, so we're starting to open up through the inner thigh here for four. For three. For two. And last one. Good. Now we're going to add on another extra bit. So we're doing the full exercise here. So we do hips press straight up to the sky. The leg then comes across to the left edge of the mat and we come up onto our elbows, press the left knee into the floor. We squeeze into three-legged dog. We come back down to the floor hip drops down, we lay on our side, leg comes out and open to the right and then back to the top. All right, so we do hip presses up, lower down, leg sweeps across, we press into three-legged dog, come back down to the floor, sweep, open to the right, back up to the top, hip press, lower down, leg sweeps open, three-legged dog, down to the floor, open sweep to the right, leg press, goes over to the left, three-legged dog, down to the floor, you lay your chest down, uh, so back on the floor, open the leg to the right, good, We have two more. Lovely, last one. And come back to center, really amazing. Take the hands over above the crown of the head. We're just gonna do a little reset for the spine here. So we squeeze the head and shoulders through, reach and back down to the floor, reach back. For two, reach, and back down to the floor. For three. So it's just the top portion of the head and shoulders coming off the floor. For five. Good, good. And eight. Reach through for nine. Reach through for 10. 10 to go, 9, 8, 3 more, so we're continuing to pull those shoulders down away from the ears, 2, and 1, and release. Beautiful, hands down, come down beside you. We plug your right foot into the floor, extend your left heel to the sky. And this, from this point, we're gonna keep that belly pulling through to the spine. So we press through, hips drive up to the ceiling, foot drives up to the ceiling, we lower the hips down, leg sweeps across. So we get this lovely stretch all the way through the outer edge of that hip. And we're trying to keep your left shoulder down. Do also make sure that you keep that toe flexed. As soon as that toe begins to, to be soft, we lose that lovely sciatic nerve stretch. We come back to the center, drive straight up, lower the hips, sweep across. Right foot comes to the floor. So the leg on the right doesn't actually move. We just roll over the blade edge of the foot onto the pinky toe. The knee lowers down to the floor. And then we come back to the sole of the foot being on the floor. 
So it's just a little pendulum, just to the side, back to the top. So you really have to use your abdominals to control the descent of that leg down and then pull the belly through to the spine to bring that leg back up. Beautiful. For four, squeeze and three. Good, squeeze and two. Breathing deep. Lovely, last one. Now we're gonna add on, next bit is we sweep across, center to the side, center, hip press, down, right edge of the mat, center, leg opens, left edge of the mat. We wanna turn that leg out, so the toes pointing to the floor, heels going towards the sky, and we're keeping the right hip down. So we get a lovely stretch on that inner thigh. Press. Four to go. Three to go. Lovely for two. And last one. Now we're going to add on. So we press the hip up, lower it down, leg sweeps across. We come up on two the kneeling left leg, three-legged dog, come back down to the floor, leg sweeps across and a big circle arc to take it to the opposite side. So we press, hips drive up, lower, leg sweeps across, three-legged dog, down to the floor, open to the side and centre, press, lower, across, three-legged dog, open to the side and center, across, <laughs> I missed one there, press the hips up, good, across, three-legged dog, Two more. Sweep the leg open and through. Last one, we drive the hips up, lower them down, leg sweeps across to the right edge of the mat. Three-legged dog. Open, center, and lower the leg down. Soles of the feet onto the floor. I'm going to interlace the fingers just behind the base of the skull. I'm going to squeeze the knees into the chest and the head and shoulders come off the floor. Make yourself a tight little ball. Elbows come to the knees and then lower down. So we squeeze, elbows to knees and lower. Four, three, exhale. And Good. Five. Four. Good. We have five more. We really want to exhale as we come in. Make sure those knees and elbows do connect. If your knees are a little bit wider, start hip width apart, that's absolutely fine. Two more. Good, good, last one. And through, beautiful. All right, let's come through to a kneeling position. So I'm just gonna move my mat here a little bit. Come 
through to your kneeling position and grab hold of your two thumbs. So that's all that your leg is doing and we're sweeping the arm to the top of the mat as well as the leg sweeps out. So we're making a long line as we come through for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Press the floor away at the chest so we're not dumping down into those shoulder blades and not being supported there. We want to press everything away from the floor. Pull that belly through to the spine. Two more. Last one and lower. Beautiful. Pop that weight down on the floor and we're just going to take your left elbow underneath your shoulder and have the forearm aligned to the top of the mat. So we squeeze your leg back, we press it out to the side, tap the toe, come back up to the top and sweep back. Good. So we have a round, tap, lift and through. Around. So we want to make sure that that knee stays as straight as possible for four. Good, good. For five. And if you need to double your mat underneath that kneeling leg, please do so. I have a very spongy mat on a, on a carpeted floor, so that might not be your case. If you've got a wooden floor, look after your knees. Good. Four more. Three more. This will be feeling it right into the top of that glute. Two more. Lovely. Last one. And back. Now we're going to come onto both hands. Step that right foot to the top of the mat on the outside of your right hand. Your back toe, your left toe, is going to tuck under and we're going to stretch the knee. We then come back down to the floor and sweep that leg, the right leg back. Good. So we step forward, lift the back knee off the floor so we get a long runner's lunge, lower the back knee down and sweep your right leg back. Good. So we step, lunge, through and for two, squeeze, through and for three, squeeze, through, for four. Here's five. So we're getting a lovely little extra stretch through those hips. And last one. Now, the next one that we're going to do, we step through, plug your uh, left toe, tuck it under. We lift both hips up as we stretch both knees. Then lower in your long lunge, back knee comes down and we kick back. So we step forward, lift the hips, stretch both knees, come into long lunge, lower the back knee down and kick back. So we're just adding a little extra in to that last uh, routine. So we step forward, hips left, look towards the back of the mat, long lunge, look forward, knee lowers down, kick back. So we step. Hips left, long lunge, knee down, kick for two. Hips left, long lunge, knee down, kick and four. Good, and five. Six, so as we press, those hips up to the sky. You want to try and make sure that you also press that back heel down as well. Two more. Last one. Good. All right. Beautiful. Let's take your weight in your left hand now. Sorry, right hand now. I'm going to do the left leg extending. So exactly the same exercise at the top of this set. And we repeat it second side. So we lengthen for 10 and 9 and 8 and 7. Good, good. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, beautiful. All right, weight comes down, elbows underneath your right arm. 
uh, right shoulder, forearms parallel to the top of the mat. We extend your leg towards the back of the mat. And I'm just changing my angle here slightly so that I've got some space. So we sweep to the side, toe tap, lift, lengthen back. Side, toe tap, lift, lengthen back for three. Good, good, four, four. Lovely, four, five. Excellent, six. And seven. Here's eight. And nine. Good, four, ten. Five. Four. Three, two, and one, and lower. Beautiful. Now we're going to step your left leg to the left edge of the mat. We lift the back knee off the floor. Lower the back knee down, and we kick your left leg back to the back of the mat. Okay, so I'll try it this way for you. We step through, knee presses off. Nice little drop into that long lunge. Knee comes down and we kick back. We step. Knee off. Knee down. Kick back. Step forward. Knee off. Knee down. Kick back for four. Good. Four, five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, lovely last one for ten. All right, now we're going to add on. So we step forward. We lift both hips off the floor. Press your back heel down. We then come long lunge, lower the knee down, and kick the right, the left leg back. Good. So we come through. Press both hips up. Press them long lunge, back knee down, kick back. Good. For three, lunge, kick back. For four, lunge, kick back. For five, for six. So as we do the long lunge to the kick back, there's this little moment before your knee actually hits the floor where you're hovering before the knee comes down and you kick fully back, okay? So that's gonna make your abs work that little bit harder. So try and find that hover moment. If you can. Three more. Two more. Last one. And we'll come through into a child's pose. Just have a little stretch with those fingertips forward. Really good. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll come to a kneeling position. We're going to take your weights, both of them, in your right hand. Have your toes tucked under. If you want a little bit more stability through there, and double, double um, level your mat if you choose. We're going to take your uh, double weighted hand. I've got mine in my right to start off with. I'm going to have them down just in front of your torso. So we're coming down, palms towards you. We're going to lift them straight, the elbows straight up. Weights come underneath the chin, when open to a V position, or half a V position, come back under the chin, and then come across the body. So the weight's gonna come down in front of your left knee. They come straight up, open all the way from shoulder to the knee, and the hip stays open. Arms open, back under shoulder, and then across. So we have 10. Good, and nine, and eight. And 
three. Good, good for two. Last one. Lovely, and then come through. Weight comes up underneath the chin. We press forward, chin and lower down. Chin, press forward, in, lower down. So the weight's coming parallel to the shoulder here. Try not to let the elbow drop. So we are working all the way through the top of this shoulder. Good, palms are to the floor for eight and seven. Good, good, four, six and a five. Four, three, two, last one. And let's change sides. We'll repeat the whole thing on the second side. And get the right positioning of those weights. So we come down in front of the right knee, weights underneath the chin, open into a V position. So it's not above your head, it is open in a V. So we are working through these lats as well as the shoulders. We come underneath the chin and then down in front of that knee. So for three. Good, good. Four, four. Four, five. Pulling that belly through to the spine making sure those hips stay nice and open when we come to your half V press with the shoulder and with the weights. Good. For four. Good, for three. Lovely, for two. Good, good, last one. Now we do, up underneath the chin, press forward and chin to the floor. Chin, press, chin, floor, for three. Let's pace it out for four. Good, if it's starting to burn, that's what we want. A little burning's good. Seven, mine certainly are, here's eight. Good, good, for nine. And 10, good. Let's do two more, just for good luck. Yep, last one and through and down, beautiful. All right, we're gonna pop those weights to the side. Let's take your hands just towards the top of the mat, press the hips forward. You can either lift the knees off the floor and come into a high plank, that's fine, or just lower the knees down. We're just gonna bring the heels towards your glutes. Pressing those hips forward, we take a lower nose to the floor and then press straight up. Now, we wanna try and make sure that it's a 90 degree angle at the elbow bend. So when we come down, it's 90 degrees. If you find it's a little tight by bringing your hands in, you can't quite get the 90 degrees and your hips wanna shift back, just open your hands more. Everyone's slightly different. So you find that comfortable position for you where you can keep your chest forward and come down to that 90 degrees and then push all the way up. So we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll press the hips back, have a little stretch. Really good. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. So we take hips pressing forward, heels come towards the glutes, really squeeze those heels in. So we're working the hamstrings. Chest forward, 10 reps, here we go, 10. Exhale, we inhale to lower down, we exhale to press up. Three more, two more, last one. And then we press back into your child's pose. Have a little breather. Well done. Really good. All right, come to a seated position. We're gonna take your right leg and cross it directly over the left there. Reach your right arm up by the ear. And we're gonna take a little side bend towards the left. That's it, yep. Good, trying to keep those hips down on the floor. And coming all the way through over the other side. Good. 
good. And then we'll just slide those hands forward, bring the nose towards the knees. Just check in that you're not holding any tension up through the top of the neck there. Good, and then we'll swap sides. So taking the left over the right, making sure both sit bones are anchored down, left arm up by the ear. We'll take a side bend over towards the right. And the other way, so right arm up by the ear towards the left with your side bend. And then we'll take the nose towards the knee, forward fold, releasing all the way through the top of that neck and head. Lovely. Now, extending your legs out in front of you, let's take the soles of the feet uh, as though you were standing on an imaginary wall just in front of you. Knees can be slightly bent so that we can sit high up onto those sit bones. If you notice that you're just slipping back onto the fleshy part of your glutes, just bend the knees a little bit more so that we can lift up out of the chest. We'll reach those arms all the way up by your ears, shoulders pull down and then lengthen from the hips, not from the top of the chest, lengthen all the way forward. I'm just going to hold on either at your calves, ankles, outside of the feet or the top of the toes and pull that chest forward. So I'm going to pull those shoulders down. And where we're targeting here is the back of the hamstrings. You might feel this a little bit into the calf muscles as well. If they're quite tight, just at the top underneath the back of the knees. Lovely. We then sit up tall, bring the soles of the feet about hip width apart, bending those knees. Take the hands just behind your sit bones and cross your right ankle over your left knee and then press the knee down and press the chest towards the thigh. So we're getting a figure four stretch, but in a seated position. You can actually lever yourself to increase the stretch or decrease it as you need to. Do make sure that your toes stay flexed though. We don't wanna have just soft ankles. Beautiful. We then place that foot down on the floor. Keeping your right hand down behind your glute, take your left hand up by the ear. We're going to press the hips up and reach back. Just a little counter stretch here to that last one. Bring the hips down to the floor and we change legs in your figure four with your left over your right. Press the chest forward, knees press down. Continue your breath. It, and we're going to flex those toes as much as possible. You can take about four or five deep breaths in any of the stretches that you do. Whether that's when you do your yoga practice or when you do these stretches as well. That's usually about 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, depending on how deep your lung capacity is and how deep your breaths are. All right, place the soles of the feet down. Keep your left hand by your glute. We press the hips up as we reach back with the right. Really look back to the back of the mat as well. And then gently lower down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to drop open and fold forward. Beautiful. And when you're ready.